welcome to Hot Fraud, where we discuss fraud in your everyday life. Today, we'll be talking about religion. My name's Hugh Skidmore. And our guest today is, well, I'll let you introduce yourself. Uh, I'm just uh, Michael Coleman, and I work at Natural Grocers over on Kansas Avenue. And how would you define fraud? Uh, well, fraud is just... Uh, Someone tricking you into believing what they made up. And uh, you're here today to talk about fraud in your own life. Uh, could you please explain what happened to you? Yeah, I, I was raised in a religious household of two religions, and they both used fraud to make me believe they were correct. And in what way did they use fraud? Uh, well, my father was Christian, and my mother was Jewish, and so they would take me to these environments where everything everyone said believe, coincided with what they said to me. But each parent did that same thing. And how would you describe this as fraud? Like, how is this deceiving you? Well, they can't both be right because the religions went against each other. They had, they had different religions that had opposite beliefs. And would you say the fact that these are opposing each other is the deception, or did the religion specifically deceive you? Well, they were deceiving me that they were right, because at least one of them had to be wrong. They can't both be right. Can you think of any methods that either one used to deceive you? Well, like I said, they just would bring me in environments where everybody agreed with what they said. And they'd have me read a lot of books, and they would show me proofs by a lot of famous people that they were correct. But each one did that. So what if it was just one of them that did this to you? Would it still be fraud? Yeah, because ultimately as I grew up, I realized that there, there was no God. Is there a personality that would lead to you to want to understand these things and not immediately just dismiss them? Well, one thing is when you're in this environment, a uh, religious environment, whether it's Judaism or Christianity, everybody is very kind to you, and kindness is very deceptive, because we're, in my opinion, I trust people that are kind to me, uh, but it turns out they were tricking me. So why do you think they did this to you? Well, there's a lot of pressure from each one of their families to raise me to be a proper Christian or proper Jew, and so they didn't want to let their families down. So you think they did it for their personal gain? Yeah, they wanted me to believe what they believed, so that way I'd be going to heaven, I guess. But you said that they just did it so that they would make their families happy. Yeah, they, there was a lot of pressure from their each one of their sets of parents. I had to get baptized, and I also had to have my bar mitzvah. Wow, you said a lot. Do you think you have anything else to add? No, I think that's pretty much everything I have to say about fraud. Well, thank you. You've been very uh, illuminating on the subject. Yeah, thanks. Once again, that was our guest, Michael Grohman, here today, talking about fraud in his life with the contradiction of two competing religions. His parents tried to put him in an environment where he would believe it, tried to explain it to him, but once again, it was fraud. And that's it for the February 22nd, 2016 episode of Hot for Hot. We hope you come back soon.